Hello, uh, this is a coronal section of the brain and um, we can see that there is a mass here. It's sort of in the midline, although it's slightly asymmetrical. This mass is very well circumscribed. It looks different from the surrounding brain parenchyma. So let's uh, perhaps zoom in to the edge of the mass so that we can have a closer look. Over here, we can see that uh, the mass is extremely well demarcated from the brain parenchyma. In fact, um, it seems to be almost sitting in this depression in the brain parenchyma, and it is really not invading into the brain at all. Now, the cut surface of this mass appears tan brownish. There are some areas that appear whitish or grayish. And if we compare this to the brain parenchyma, which looks very homogeneous and smooth, um, you can see the grey matter here and the white matter, it looks very different. So this is an example of a slow-growing brain tumour that has compressed onto the adjacent brain parenchyma. And if you're wondering why this tumour is arising here in the midline, you remember that the Falk's cerebri actually dips down here into the midline, and it is likely that this arises from that area. So it has, on um, gross appearance, mostly the features of a benign neoplasm. So just to recap what we studied in your neoplasia chapter, benign tumours are often very well circumscribed. They do not obviously show infiltrative growth into the adjacent tissues. And again, if we look at this, we do not see any obvious areas of necrosis, which would be evidenced by uh, pale geographic areas. Neither do we see any hemorrhage. So here is an example of a well-circumscribed mass that is occurring in the midline, appearing to compress on the brain parenchyma and does not appear to arise from within the brain parenchyma. It has a tan world cut surface without evidence of necrosis or hemorrhage, and this is a classical appearance of a meningioma.